Good morning, greetings once again from Hinder Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. So it's almost time for the 2025 Euro motorcycles to come in. So what do we need to do? Yeah, that's right. Uh, we've got a lot of pre-owned inventory here in the showroom, and we're going to need room for those 2025 Euro motorcycles to come in. So Fall is a great time to purchase a new or used Euro. We do have a good selection. Uh, 2014 sitting there. We have a 2020 one-wheel drive 2017 CT. Do have a 2016 Urban Camo gear up two-wheel drive. 2017 Patrol. All loaded out, decked out with accessories, almost brand new hiding out K37 tires on the machine, ready to go. And then we have a 2018 Satin Burgundy, about 15,000 miles on that unit. And here's the beautiful gloss black with lots of chrome, 2008 one wheel drive tourist. Makes somebody a very good deal on this unit, a great carbureted unit. Uh, we're asking $99.95, but uh, we're always open to offers on the pre-owns. So if you're in the market, don't hesitate to uh, give us a call, send us an email. Uh, we do take trade-ins, so if you have something you're looking to uh, upgrade, be glad to talk to you about uh, taking your bike in on trade. Of course, you see we've got, uh, we rotate the battery tenders through on the weekends. Um, so we got her plugged in over there and uh, Little battery tender junior keep all the batteries uh, topped off with them being in the showroom we can't leave them uh, cords strung around all week so we just wait till the weekend and then we uh, filter them through periodically to make sure the batteries stay charged up and of course we do have matching pair red sparrow could be his and hers make you a good deal on a uh, on a package So 2024s and 2025 Euro motorcycles are going to be identical in performance-wise. Uh, no big changes for 25. I know around this time of year, everybody's kind of holding off, uh, wanting to know what's going to happen with 25s to see whether there's going to be massive upgrades and changes. Uh, no, uh, no matter what you've seen on the internet as far as, uh, I think there was an AI-generated uh, video out there with a 2025 uh, that was, I don't know where that came from, but uh, nonetheless, 2025s are going to be identical performance-wise to what the 24s are. Uh, of course, you got three-wheel disc brakes, 750cc engine, four-speed gearbox with the reverse. Um, all of them are going to have black powertrain. 2025 black powertrain is standard on all the models. Uh, at this point in time, I'm told there are no 2025s that will have silver engine. Uh, they're all going to be black. So if silver engine is your uh, forte and what you want, uh, you're going to need to seek out a remaining 2023 or 2024 that a dealer may have. Uh, we don't have any remaining with the silver engine that are new, uh, but we do have very low mileage pre-owned Poppy gear up, uh, had this unit sold, I think we've had it sold twice now, uh, and there's always some sort of, uh, one gentleman, he, he, he had some issues with uh, getting his endorsement, so that fell through, and then we had another gentleman that had some had some uh, deals working around and couldn't get the, uh, the financing end of it worked out, which we understand, uh, you know, we've been in the business long enough, uh, you know, it is what it is, so. Do have that available still. And then, of course, the Red Sparrows, $26,995. Uh, yes, that's the same price on both of them. Uh, they're both equipped identical, um, even down to the, you've got the undercoating. Uh, David from Ural was, uh, this was kind of his project, I think, uh, if I remember back. Um, of course, uh, David no longer does what he used to do, so that's the way that goes. But yeah, that was uh, uh, David from Ural. His you may remember his some of his videos. Fact is, I think there's still a lot of them that are up on uh, Ural's YouTube channel um, that talk about uh, the Red Sparrow package and how it came about. 
Um, and who actually named it? I believe uh, president of uh, Herbert Motor Works of America actually uh, came up with the name, uh, and then it kind of stuck. So we think it looks good. Uh, I really like the black or the uh, red valve cover. I know there's some Motoguzis out there that are the same way. Um, they've got uh, valve covers that are red. Looks kind of cool. Then the red Sparrow decal just kind of tops it all off. And this is what they call their Northwest gray color. So we do have lots of pre-owns. Uh, where we were originally going with the video is uh, we're going to need some space in the showroom for the 25s. So uh, if you're in the market for a pre-owned unit uh, and you've been sitting on the fence, uh, and there's really no better time than now to uh, go ahead and purchase them uh, because there is uh, more inventory than what we usually see on the used market. Um, we get a lot of fo folks that we've sold them to over the years that, uh, you know, they're ending their writing career, uh, get up into your se late 70s and 80s, and yeah, uh, so we've purchased a fair number of them, uh, especially this year, and, and as you've seen, we've turned over a lot of, a lot of inventory here lately. So if you do have something to sell, uh, don't hesitate to send us an email, give us a call, let us know what you got. And if you are in the market for a uh, good Euro motorcycle, definitely give us a call. As always, guys, really appreciate you watching. And I know we get the question quite a bit, where are you located? We're located here. Yep. Uh, most folks don't realize how big the state of Ohio is. Uh, it takes more than five minutes to go from here to here. Uh, we get lots of folks say, well, can't you just run up? Well, yeah, that's diagonal across the state. Uh, what are we, 200 and some miles this way? So we're 200 and, well, we're probably 300 miles diagonal. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know exactly how far it is. Never paid too much attention. Uh, but it does take a little while. Um, when we used to do the... Uh, Cycle World Show outside of Cleveland. Um, yeah, it was a quite the drive. Uh, get done with the show at 5 o'clock in the evening on a Sunday and then drive all the way back. Um, so, yeah, it was always late when we got in, but uh, had to be here for Monday morning. So, as always, guys, we really appreciate you watching. I ain't doing motorcycle sales. Eat in Ohio.